Hi, this is Quad, and in this video, I want to tell you about cell membrane action potential. So here is a cell. There are many ions because this is outside of the cell and these ions come from food, kidney. Your cells are basically soaked in this ion water. The cells have special proteins that let these ions in and out. Pumps, channels, some of them even use energy. There's one that's the most important. It's called the sodium potassium ATPase. And this protein is going to kick out three sodium for every two potassium that it takes in. And this protein is working constantly and it uses a lot of ATP. Sometimes like half the energy of this cell is driving this. So it's a very expensive and also important a protein working all the time. The goal of this protein is to achieve 10x concentration difference of these two ions, about 10x. And the way I think about this is outside you have 5 millimolar of potassium and inside when this pump is working you get about 50 millimolar. Sodium is the opposite. You have about 100 millimolar sodium outside and this pump is going to do its job to get 10 millimolar inside. So this is a 10x difference. This is a 10x difference. You have more potassium inside, less outside. You have more sodium outside, less inside. Now let's open up a hole right here. A lot of K in, less K out, set up by the AT pace. K want to go out because of the concentration difference. And this can be captured using G, potential energy, of the concentration difference of this ion K, RT ln, concentration of the K in over out. This captures this, this magic protein is always maintaining this ratio to be in 10 out 1. And because of this, this arrow size is going to remain the same. There's always going to be same amount of energy driving this K to move out. Now let's talk about electricity. As K move out, positive K here, positive K here, you will have a lot of positives lined up. Inside it will be depleted by positive, so inside it will increase in negativity. And this charge difference across this membrane gives this membrane another driving force that's going to work against this going out driving force. So the charge is going to work this way to say, hey, K, don't come out because outside is positive and you are positive, repel. But AT pace is forcing the other way, right? With the constant driving force set up by this 10x difference. And this driving force going against the AT pace, driving force generated by the electric difference, which is Z, the charge of the molecule being moved, that's the K, plus one, and Farad is constant, and the electric potential of the membrane at that time in the system. So here is a membrane, here is a membrane. Three positives, two negatives. Two positives, many, many negatives. There is a hole, there is a hole. This system will have different membrane potential than this system. Maybe this system will eventually become that system. When you do that, the membrane potential here is going to be different than here. So membrane potential changes depending on the charge being built up across the membrane. And it's relevant because membrane potential difference, given that there is ability to use that potential, can generate some amount of energy. And in this case, this energy equaled the energy generated by the AT pace, which set up this 10x to force the molecule to go out. And when you equate these terms, you can solve for the electric potential of the membrane, which is RT over ZF ln. And this is element inside concentration over element outside concentration. This equation says that when you have concentration difference of a molecule of this charge across a membrane, then there is this much potential of that membrane, given that there's an opening, to move things in and out. 